Hey folks, Nindo here. Today we're going over 10 tips to looting in DayZ. Consider loadout weight. The amount of stamina your character has is a direct correlation to how heavy your character is. Weight takes into account all of the clothing, armor, and items in your bag. Holding onto every item you find with a massive backpack will greatly reduce your character's ability to run and may even stop you from vaulting over walls. Consider finding a balance that allows you to run and vault over objects while still carrying your essential items that you need. Big Ticket Items There are a few big ticket items that you'll want to look out for every life. A knife is a cornerstone to many crafts in Daisy, and early on it is a great way to open cans of food with minimal food loss. You can find knives typically in the kitchens of houses. You can also easily craft a bone knife by combining two bones or sharpening a single bone on a boulder. Bandages and rags are essential, but just as importantly, you will need to be able to keep them disinfected with alcohol, disinfectant spray, and iodine tincture. A container to hold water will go a long way to keep you hydrated. Keep your eye out for water bottles, canteens, and cooking pots. Tetra is one of the most versatile medications in Daisy and can truly save your life in many situations. Every item in Daisy has its uses, but if you can at least find these essential items, you'll set yourself up for a good run. Never underestimate how important armor is in Daisy. They can help reduce both health damage and also shock damage, saving you from getting knocked out easily. Loot Surrounding Buildings When you are at a building looking for specific loot, for example a police station, check the surrounding buildings and vehicles as well. One of the most commonly skipped structures is the scaffolding on the side of buildings. Make sure to check every loot location, such as cars and garages, next to the building you're intending to loot. You might be surprised with what you find. Wait and loot after a kill. When you kill a player, it might be tempting to immediately loot them. The problem with this is that even if you kill a solo player, there's a chance a third party might have heard the shots and are now coming to investigate, making you an easy target as you try to loot. Your best course of action is to fall back, watch, and wait for at least a couple minutes. When you are ready to loot, consider opening the inventory and making a sidestepping movement side to side to make it harder to be shot. Also, instead of taking individual items at a time, it may sometimes be in your best interest to take the entire backpack in your hands and then run to a safe spot and place it in a better location to sort through the items. Huge backpack stick out. When deciding what backpack you want to use, it's a common misconception that bigger is better. Huge backpacks will allow you to hold more items, but in turn, you will also be much heavier and low on stamina. Large backpacks also stick out and make it harder to maintain stealth. I personally choose a medium sized backpack, such as a hunting backpack or simply an improvised backpack. One case where you may want a massive backpack is if you're specifically trying to build a base and transport materials or if you're trying to put together a vehicle. Only pick up what you need. It might sound like common sense, but it's easy to fall back into the bad habit of picking up everything you see. Try to be selective in what you loot and only loot items that fit into your current goals. If you have no plans to build a base, then throw away that hammer you're carrying or the code lock that's taken up space. If you're not planning on making a stash, then don't take more than two long rifles on your back and a handgun in your inventory. Organize regularly. As you start to accumulate more loot, it's a good idea to organize your loot. It's also recommended that you come up with an organization system that works for you and stick with it every new character. For example, when a tense situation comes up, you'll want to know exactly where your bandages are. Every second counts, and you don't want to spend precious moments looking for an item. Protect your items. 
An item such as a protector case in your backpack will ensure that even if your backpack gets ruined by a bullet, the items inside the case will still be in good condition. You can place a spare bandage, sailing bag, extra ammo, or other important items inside. That way, say if everything you have is ruined and you're bleeding out, you'll still have that one set of clean bandages in your protector case to save the day. My favorite spots to loot. So here are some spots I always check for loot that might not be obvious. Aside from normal military and hunting locations, I also check green bus stations for a variety of helpful gear and food. A fully stocked bus station can sometimes set you up for a great adventure. Scaffolding, as I discussed earlier, can often go overlooked. Especially good locations are next to police stations, hospitals, and other valuable loot locations. Always check markets and look behind the counter. You may need to crouch to get the best look at it. It's very common that I find a scope, handgun, or sometimes even long rifles in these markets. Hunting stands are also a great way to get hunting gear. That includes scopes and rifles, so they can often be worth the hassle of going up and down the ladders. Some of the most helpful tips can be found in this video on the left. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day.